The Greater Cleveland Regional Transit Authority's Redline Healthline Extension Study Team recently held a third set of public meetings. These meetings allowed the project team to share initial results of the detailed alternative screening report involving the possibility of enhancing transit service in the northeastern section of RTA's service area. At the May meetings, the team briefly described the alternative development and screening processes in public meetings that occurred in September and December of 2013. The team also clarified that Cleveland has three good alternatives to choose from, alternatives B, E, and G. The team presented details about those alternatives and described initial alternative evaluation findings. The purpose of the May meetings was to share this information, interact with, and listen to the public. A couple of interesting things happened. You know, if we extended to wrap it out, yeah. one, we're capturing a lot more people. The rail extension is costly, sure. but it gets the high, but it's definitely the highest ridership. As described by the project team at the meeting, the evaluation was based on numerous factors. Costs, construction, operation, and maintenance, mobility, transit riders, and reducing daily automobile use, cost effectiveness, costs versus riders, land use, community planning and urban design, and economic development, market analysis, and new development. The project team leaders clarified the advantages and disadvantages of alternatives B, E, and G. Alternative B would be the option of extending the existing red line service that we have today right out uh, from its existing termini at Windermere Station and going straight out towards Euclid. So that could be either the, uh, the red line cars that we use today or a diesel multiple unit that could run uh, using diesel fuel on the freight tracks. Alternative E is an option that would run on the street. Um, it could be either an extension of the health line with BRT vehicles or the big bus rapid transit vehicles or it could be a Rapid Plus, which is more like a streetcar where it could operate on the red line to Windermere and then come down into street level and operate uh, on the street to its terminus in Euclid. Alternative G serves the 185th Street corridor as opposed to the Waterloo corridor that is served by Alternative E. Alternative G has the challenge of needing to meet this 50% dedicated transit right of way, which means a bus or a streetcar running in its own lane without cars. What are the next steps? Mixing and matching the best pieces and parts of the alternatives to create the best possible outcome, incorporating public input on the possibilities, evaluating in-depth ridership forecasts, and selecting the best alternative. The hallmark of this project has been intense community involvement and intense listening to the public in every way possible, on the air, on the internet, in mail, every way. That process will continue so that we can get a full picture of what the public wants us to do. There are still many ways to participate. We encourage you to visit our website where all of the details are available, submit your comments via the study website, connect with us via social media, call the study hotline. We look forward to hearing from you.